It can be very challenging as a young engineer to grow, to build your confidence, to become a leader. Well, I have with me in this week's engineering management lessons video, Karen Islas. Karen is a young licensed engineer, also very energetic, and she's achieved a ton in her career. So Karen, how did you do it? It is challenging as a young engineer, but you've accomplished so much. And you're of course also a female in the engineering industry, which also has its own challenges. Talk to us about what it really took for you and how you were able to overcome some challenges and really grow as an engineer. Definitely something that developed a little bit on me was growing up, I was provided with a lot of opportunities and a lot of experience that allow me to develop my self-confidence and learning about resilience, thinking that even if I mess up, I was not going to be a loss and I'll be able to recover myself and continue going. And I, I, I'm, that's why I'm so grateful about that mindset that I feel like my family and friends and overall my environment allow me to, to, to develop right and it, it's just it's, it has been a great it has been a great um something that I, it took me some time to realize that how privileged I was when it came to growing up in this supportive network and um part of the of the of the thing that I I'm interested in is and being aware is not a lot of people grow up like with this support that I was mentioning so if I can be part of that support network for them in order to to think that they you know they they can make it in this field that there are resources in this field that there are allies in this field there's people that that they want you to be successful in this in this field if i can be part of that change or be part of that support you know it's part of i feel like my fulfillment in my career overall so i am i am really grateful that i i did not have to go through a lot of uh imposter syndrome and things like that still it's gonna happen every now and then and it has happened to me but at the end of the day having that strong support network allow me to go back and be like no no no, I got this you know and having this mindset so hopefully I I, I can provide that for other people as needed and definitely for women which I know we're trying to get our numbers a little bit higher in the, in the stem the stem industry in the stem field I think that's great and I think it's so important because I think that even as engineering managers, it's something that we can be aware of because we have the ability to build yes. that mindset in our team members yes. and let them know that, listen, you're just not going to get everything right as an engineer. I mean, there's a lot of problems. There's a lot of equations. There's a lot of things going on. You're interacting mm -hmm. with people. You will make mistakes, but we'll help you so that you don't make those mistakes again. And you just exactly. have to stay confident in yourself and keep going down the path. So I think it's a really important message. And, you know, You've done so much, Karen, in terms of mentoring Thank and getting you. out there to younger people. And I would imagine that that's something that you can also strive to do, not just in the mentoring and the STEM work that you mm -hmm. do, but also like within your own organization. Yes. Yes. I, I think that's that's one of the things that I I've I've loved to do. I've actually done a career fairs with my with my organization itself. And you know, we've talked to to people that are either graduates or undergrads in different um you know, colleges within California and some, some of them were in Oregon. Like there were a bunch of different places that we were able to connect with and try to, you know, attract talent because, um, you know, be able to share and, and, and what can you do within this industry? Like, again, it's so broad and that's why it's so awesome. And, and um, yes, definitely in my, in the future, maybe I'd like to create like a, like a, uh, maybe like a some kind of training or like an onboarding to be able to hopefully um, a little bit smooth, more smooth be able to transition into these full time roles coming from from come from college from from school which is slightly different. Well, that was a really powerful message from Karen. There, the people you surround yourself with they will help you succeed in your career and will help you succeed as well. So please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I hope to see you next week.